free in the How I Taught My Son to Read Using Usborne Books series. In this video, I'm going to show you inside the phonics readers and the dual readers. So, if you have been following along in this series, you remember from video one that after I started using the My First Reading Library, we got about halfway through the program, around book eight or nine, and I realized that I really want to reinforce uh, my son's knowledge of those phonemes. Things like long vowels, silent E, and things like that. So I reached out to the consultant that I had been buying from and she suggested the phonics readers. So I ended up buying those and those were phenomenal at reinforcing those um, phonemes for my son. So let me show you inside of those. So a couple things that I would like to say about the phonics readers is you can purchase them separately at $6.99 a book. Yes. And they are so cute, darling illustrations, and the kids just love them. If you wanna save some money, the best way to go is to get them in the combined volumes. There is a set where you can get like 20 phonics books in a pack, but honestly, the best bang for your buck is to get them in um, collections. So I, I'm a money saver, you guys. I have five children, okay? I have to pinch every penny, I have to watch everything. When you have five kids, you just, that's the way life is. So when I was buying these, cause I, I did this all before I became a consultant, okay? So when I was purchasing these, I did my research and I actually added up, I figured out what books were in what books and how much the cost was gonna be and I found out this was the best bang for my buck, was to purchase these sets of phonics readers. So we've got, oops, Ted and Friends, Cow Takes a Bow and Other Tales, Raccoon on the Moon and Other Tales. If you purchase these three books, you will have all the Usborne Phonics Reader books minus four. There are four of the newest Phonics Readers right now that are only available at, as a single book. They're not in a collection yet. But I decided to wait because the chances are they'll end up in a collection sometime in the future. I don't know that for sure. That's just what I'm hoping for. Um, so these are the three phonics reader collections. I highly suggest getting these if you want to save some money. So just a, um, some knowledge about these before we get started. I did look these up. These phonics readers in these books actually have um, an accelerated reading score. If you look, go to the accelerated reading website, I looked up all of the stories in these and I could find the AR levels and the points for these books. What I found was exactly what I thought what I would find. Ted and Friends is by far the easiest. Cow takes about, it's a little bit harder. Raccoon on the Moon gets a little bit harder. So the phonics readers in Ted and Friends ranked an AR from 0 0.9 to like 1.2, meaning nine months in kindergarten to uh, second month into first grade. And then Cow Takes a Bow was like a 1.1 to a 1.3, and Raccoon on the Moon was like a 1.2 to a 1.4. So this one did have some kindergarten level reading in it. These two were mostly first grade level reading. But let me show you the inside of these wonderful books. So Ted and Friends is so cute. It has Stephen Cartwright's um, illustrations, which means there's a cute little duck to find on every page, and the children love that. This one actually does come with a CD that will read the stories to your child, and so that, my son really loves that. That's fun. So, let's look at the first book. This is Fat Cat on a Mat. So as you can see, Fat Cat sees a bee. Fat Cat flees up a tree. I don't like bees, yelps Fat Cat. And there's this little darling duck that you can find on each page. So this one, Fat Cat, they're learning the at uh, phoneme. Okay, let's see. And then also, in the books, they have these cute little fold-out pages with additional words in it. So darling, darling illustrations, very easy to read. Um, and there's 12 stories in this collection. 
Cow Takes a Bow and Other Tales has a different illustrator. This one's by Fred Blunt, and these <laughs> illustrations are just adorable. Um, something different about these two is these two books actually have puzzles in the backs of these, um, whereas Ted and Friends doesn't. Cow Takes a Bow and Other Tales has one, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh, six phonics readers in there. It has this little about phonics introduction page, and then it goes into the books. There's Cow Takes a Bow. One of my son's favorites. Let's see if it's in this one. Was Underpants for Ants. Kids love those funny ones. So these are just darling illustrations. Nun sells fancy fans and lamps, handbells, clamshells, pans, and stamps. But customers just stay away, and so she sits and knits all day. Anyway, just darling. And then in the back, these actually do have some puzzles. There's three puzzles, and then it does have, oh, sorry, there's five puzzles, and it does have the answers to the puzzles in the back as well. So this one has six phonics readers in there, and Raccoon on the Moon and Other Tales has six, uh, six more phonics books. And again, it has an about phonics introduction. There are six phonics readers, and then the puzzles in the back. So let me show you a little inside so you can see the illustrations of this one. This one is illustrated by David Semple. So those, these are phenomenal at um, being easy books to read and reinforcing the concepts of those phonics sounds. Now, I also wanted to show you the dual readers. Usborn Books has a lot of dual readers. I just have two of them. I have Farmyard Tales and Bible Stories. There are also um, princess stories, fairy tale stories, little train stories. Um, I think there's some my like, going to the dentist ones, things like that. But let me show you what dual readers are. I'm gonna show you the farm retail because it has those cute illustrations by Stephen Cartwright and the duck. We love those. This one comes with also with a CD that reads the stories to him. This one comes with a ribbon marker too. Little apple tree farm map. So in dual readers, there are two lines of text. There's a line of text at the top and then some text at the bottom. The line of text at the top is easier to read, whereas the lines at the bottom are a little bit harder. If you want to read just the top lines, the story will make sense. You don't have to read the bottom lines, okay? So one thing you can do is you can read, if you're tired at night, <laughs> When you're reading and you don't want to read the whole story, read just the top line. Or you can read the, the whole thing, top and bottom. Or you can have your child read the top, you read the bottom, or your child can just read the top line. But um, the top line does have easier text. What I did with my son is we used, um, we read it together. Once he showed me that he could read the top line on his own, it went into his silent reading pile. Because um, every day we have him do 15 minutes of silent reading and so when he's mastered a book it goes into his pile so that's what a dual reader is so we also started using dual readers as just some extra reading because it does have some easier um, words to read in there so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I show you all the extras <laughs> thanks bye